what we have here is a 1997 Jeep Cherokee. It was in no start condition. It was running when I parked it, then a year later it wouldn't run no more. So I checked for fuel, it was getting fuel. I checked for spark, it wasn't getting no spark. So with that being said, I checked the power going into the coil and it was reading a weird number. It was reading like, it was supposed to be 12 volts. I was getting uh, like between four and seven volts. So there's high resistance somewhere. So I checked the uh, distributor uh, pickup coil. They call it a camshaft sensor, but it's called a couple different things. It's a distributor pickup coil. Works the same as a camshaft sensor. So it's inside the distributor, and I'm going to show you the test on this. The one that was bad was high resistance, and the other one was none whatsoever. I'll show you. All right, so we're going to use our digital voltmeter and test the bad one first. Okay, so inspect it, check it for cracks and all that. So that's what we did. We didn't see anything visibly besides this nastiness, whatever that is. So we attached the one probe to the one terminal and we touched the middle one from the end. 18 ohms. It's supposed to be out of limits, OL, right there. And it's not reading that. And right there we have 27 ohms. Well, there we go. And rising and that's supposed to be out of limits too so that would explain why I was getting my 7 volts not my 12 volts that was shorted out on the inside as you can see you can't really see anything visibly wrong with it I mean there's some kind of weird gel around it so if that's the case maybe I don't know so we're gonna go test the new one so here we are at the distributor. The distributor is right here. We're going to find a connector. See, it comes out of here, out of the side of the distributor, right here. We're going to disconnect it from here. Pull this little tab up and wiggle it out. Okay. So now we're going to hook the ohmmeter up. That's the right there. Now we're going to put it on like we did on the other one. Connected the one at one tab and check it. Out of limits. Do it the end one. Out of limits. See? There's no connection there whatsoever. So that rolls that out. That's how you test the distributor pickup coil in one of these. So I didn't find anything on the net on how to test these. So here you go. I made this for you guys. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.